And welcome back. The post office in Appleton has a new name. The post office downtown on Franklin Street was officially renamed this morning as the Mitchell F. Lungard Post Office Building. Lungard, a 14-year veteran of the Appleton Fire Department, was shot and killed while responding to an overdose at the Transit Center in 2019. Our Holly Brantley was at the ceremony today and she joins us now live. So Holly, how did this honor of renaming the post office come about? Well, you know, Jeff, this morning, uh, Congressman Mike Gallagher joked that you would think that renaming a post office would be something that would be an easy lift in Congress. But this, in fact, was a result of an idea between Gallagher lawmakers, local and state lawmakers, and Lundgaard's widow, Lindsay, three years ago. And then finally became a reality today, eventually uh, renaming this post office here, the Mitchell F. Lundgaard Post Office. Well, for those that may not remember or recognize the name, maybe they're new to the area, when they hear the name Mitch Lungard, what can you tell us about him? Right, well, we know that he was killed four, over four years ago, May 15th, 2019, uh, while responding to that call at Valley Transit to a man that investigators believe had been overdosing, and then that man woke up and opened fire on those involved. Now, from there, we've learned a lot about Mitch over the years. He was not just a firefighter. He became a firefighter uh, 14 years with the Appleton Fire Department, um, just 36 years old when he died. He became a firefighter because he was inspired by the events of 9-11. And from there, he was well known within the department and the community as a mentor, a coach, someone that really had a heart for service and was well, well loved by all who knew them and many people who were here this morning to see this uh, be renamed for him. What is the city hoping the, the, the renaming uh, will do or what will the takeaway be from this renaming of the post office? Right. Well, if you don't know who Mitchell Lungard is uh, it, yet, you will. And that's the feeling of a lot of people who are that call Appleton home. They know who he is and they want people to realize that he is the definition of what they call a hometown hero, that he lived a good life here. And you don't have to be the president of the United States or, or something like that to have a, a huge legacy that you can live on and be remembered and take away from the way that someone lived his life. And hopefully they feel that they want that to be inspiring to others. All right. Well, Holly, thank you very much for that report. And we look forward to your full report coming up tonight at five.